Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to our mobile score input webinar. In the next 30 minutes or so, we'll be covering our latest feature release, that is mobile score input. We'll be looking into the reasons behind releasing this feature, how this new feature works through the back office of Club B1, and how golfers can enter their scores through their mobile devices or web browser via How Did I Do? At the end, we have selected a handful of frequently asked questions that you guys have kindly submitted upon registration. I'll answer some of these questions for you at the end. I am Alex Wood, the Senior Account Manager for the South of England, and I'm your presenter today. I'd like to thank all of those that have managed to access the webinar this morning. After publicising this session last week, we have had nearly 700 registrations, which is amazing. However, we are limiting this webinar to 100 attendees. I'll be pressing record when we begin the presentation, and later on today, we'll post the webinar video to our YouTube channel. We're beginning to post our webinar content on there along with short tutorial videos on different areas of Club V1 and how did I do. So please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, so let's begin the session. Okay, so let's begin the presentation. First of all, we'll cover what mobile score input is, MSI. Then we'll move on how to create a competition within Club V1 with the different aspects of sign-in, score entry, and charging. Then we will move on to how to enter scores via the How Did I Do app and how players can sign in before they go out and play. And then at the very, very end of the presentation, we've got time for a short Q&A. So first of all, let's just start by adding a competition. Nice and straightforward. So far, MSI is only enabled for singles competitions. However, in a later update, this will be released for team events. So we're just going to look at the mobile score input from a, a mixed medal. Staplefords, nine holes, they work the same. Okay, so let's use the mixed medal template here. Let's just call it MSI test. And obviously the competition is today. You can work through these as normal, as you would for a normal competition. Okay. Just follow this through divisions, courses, everything the same as you guys are used to. Keep continuing. Continue through the booking process. Obviously, you can enable booking if you want to, and members can book competition tea times through How Did I Do? You can enable sign in for this competition. So, if you want players to sign in on the first tee through their phones, they can do. And like I said, that can deduct the monies off their account as well if you've got that enabled. So this screen is different from what you're used to. You'll now see you can enable how did I do sign in for this competition, along with the PSI sign in that you've been used to. So you can enable P uh, how did I do MSI sign in through here. And obviously you can choose the date and the time parameters. We continue. You can enable charging, similar to what you've been used to. So you can enable the mandatory charge item, uh, at sign in, you can also enable the twos or any optionals through here too. So let's just have two pounds. We'll have it at sign in. Nice and simple. If we scroll down, we can also have the optional charges, like I said, twos, sweepstakes, whatever it may be. And at the point of sign in, it will just flash up as it does on the PSI. Um, it will flash up and say, do you want to enter the twos for an additional pound? Okay, let's continue. The next screen that's differed for MSI is you've now got MSI score entry enabled here. So through here, obviously you can enable PSI score entry, which we'll touch upon later and the reasons behind that. But for now, we're gonna focus on how did I do score entry? So when you enable how did I do score entry, obviously same as the PSI, same as what you guys are used to, you can enable it from uh, the given time throughout the day, obviously today's competition is on the 16th. So we'll just continue from there. And you can enable live leaderboard if you want. So that will create our competition. Okay, we've got our webinar, webinar test here. Absolutely fantastic. It's at my, at my home golf club, which we've been using uh, MSI. And the other competitions we've got here, we've got no sign in, which I'll show you from a, a golfer's point of view. And obviously we've got charging enabled, like I said. Okay, so from a back office point of view, that is how you set up a competition with MSI. 
Okay. So let's have a look at it from the uh, front end, from the golfer's perspective, from the player's perspective. Okay, so we've got, how did I do open here? Like I mentioned, it works in web browser and it works on your mobile devices. So for those who do have a mobile phone, a tablet, you can stand on the first tee and you can sign into a competition and you can stand on the 18th green or in the clubhouse or in a car park or wherever it may be and enter your score. For those who don't have a mobile device, you can enter your score via the web, the how do I do web browser, like I'm going to show you now. Okay, excellent. So with the update, you'll now notice there is a button at the top of your how did I do screen called today's golf. Okay, so when you click on there, it will flash up with three options. You've got the live leaderboard, which has always been there and how did I do? So you can access the live leaderboard for the competition. But now you can access the sign-in feature and the score entry feature. So first of all, let's have a look at the sign-in. So when you go into sign-in, even though I've created two competitions, uh, sorry, three competitions, there are only two that are showing here. Remember, one doesn't have sign-in, which is why it's not appearing here. In the screen a little later, you'll see there's three competitions to enter my score. Okay. So let's have a look at the one where charging isn't enabled first. So if we click on sign in, it, the system then says, would you like to sign into mobile score input? The webinar test, I wanna sign into that, sign in successful. Brilliant, I'll go out and play my golf now. Let's just have a look at it from a charging point of view. So if we go back into sign in, first of all, you'll already see that I've signed in to my, uh, competition there. So it tells me that I've signed in. So I can't sign in twice, for example. The other competition there, because it's a separate competition, I can press sign in here. And this one does have charging enabled. And it says, would you like to sign into MSI charging enabled? You'll be charged three pounds to enter this competition. Let's press sign in. That then debits my competition account by three pounds. Excellent. So Signed in on the first tee, I can go out and play my golf now. So fast forward four hours, and then I, I come back, I finish my round of golf, and on the 18th, or the clubhouse, car park, I can then enter my score through my mobile phone or the How Did I Do web browser. So I'm gonna show you how to enter a score via the How Did I Do web browser first, and then we're gonna take a look at it from the mobile view, okay? So let's have a look at our mobile score input webinar test. Let's enter score. Okay, it then, then flashes up with the uh, score entry system. So it's got at the top, it's got the competition name, it's got the date, it's got my name and it's got my handicap. Obviously it starts on the first hole, which is a par five. It highlights the stroke index as well. I'm simply just gonna input my scores like so. The third is always quite a tricky hole, so give myself lot there and all you need to do is just slowly work through entering your scores each hole at the end of your round the system is designed so you enter your full scorecard whoops enter your full scorecard at the end of your round you don't do it per hole that will be released in a later feature along with competition uh, tournament package that we'll do in a later update where you will be able to stand on each green and enter your whole by whole score. Okay, so we're nearly finished. My round's looking good. Just finish on the 18th here and finish. So NR today, but that's okay. So if we just press confirm, that will then send my score back to Club V1 for the administrators, the competition secretaries to uh, manage my score. Okay. So that's the first way, that's from the web browser of how to enter the score. Let's just have a look at it from a mobile perspective and then we'll nip back to Club V1 and have a look what's happened in there. So I've got the mobile view open on my web browser here and pretty much the same way, uh, you've got your three options again. Today's golf is an option in the, in the burger menu, top right hand corner. So you can click on today's golf and it will take you to your three icons here. 
We've already had a look at sign-in, but if we just go back there, you'll see that I've signed into those two competitions already. There's not much more I can do there. So let's go back to today's golf. And let's go into our score entry and have a look at score entry from a mobile perspective. Excellent. So I could enter the MSI test no sign-in, or I could enter the MSI charging enabled. It doesn't really matter for this purpose. So let's do the second one. Obviously, you can see I've already entered my score at the top here, nice and straightforward. So let's go into enter scores. And this is how it looks from a mobile, from a mobile phone. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing. You can just go through and enter your scores, hole by hole at the end of your round. Okay, continue, continue, continue. Players, players can only enter their own score. It gives us a frontline summary there, which is great. You cannot enter anyone else's score through your How Did I Do account. And we have a question later about the verification process. So we'll just hold fire on that. Okay, so let's just finish that around here, nice and consistent. Let's enter the last two scores. Excellent. So it gives me a summary there of what I've shot uh, over the 18. It gives me my gross and my net score. And if I'm happy with that, I can just press confirm. And my score has now been submitted to Club V1. Excellent. So from a golfer's perspective, that is how it operates through the How Did I Do web browser and through the How Did I Do app. Okay. So let's just go back to Club V1 and have a look to see what's happened in there. Let's go and have a look at our mobile score and put webinar test. So now that I've obviously signed into the competition and I've entered my score, we can have a look at that. So let's go to sign in and you can see there that I've, I've signed into the competition and it shows me that I've returned my scorecard. Brilliant. So if I want to see that score, let's just go into scores here and it shows you there's my NR. NR on the eighth, but every other hole was fine. Um, effectively, it's just like a mobile PSI um, and scores will just be entered through their phones and be flushed through to Club V1 for the competition uh, secretary to administer. Okay. So uh, let's just go back into competitions and we'll have a look at the other competitions that I've created. Let's just have a look at the charging uh, competition here. So I didn't enter my score for this one. That's why it says zero scores have been entered, but I did sign in. And you can see here that I've signed in. I haven't returned my scorecard, but if we go to charges, it will show me that I have paid my entrance fee for the, uh, for the competition. Excellent. So from we've covered how to set up mobile score input from Club V1, and we've covered uh, how golfers actually input their scorecards. Hopefully that's nice and clear for you. Uh, just a couple of reasons why we did release MSI. Uh, the first one is the obvious uh, reason is because Clubhouse is currently closed, hopefully opening soon. Um, there's restrictions on PSI units and touching screens. So we fast track this development forward um, and released it in line with obviously the COVID restrictions so that every player can enter their scores through their mobile devices. Um, the second reason is it falls in line with our WHS plans. We're allowing players to enter competition results at the moment, but we will expand this to supplementary scorecards and casual rounds of golf as well. Okay, and the third reason is uh, golf clubs and the golf industry is very much embracing technology. So um, this is just another add-on to our package that uh, we hope that you all enjoy and, and, and use. Okay, so let's just go back to our presentation. We do have some time now for uh, a quick, question and answer, which we'll go through. Just come back to here. Let's just go through the question and answers. So the first question we have got is from Dun Murray Golf Club. Um, it's Shane McIlvenny. And his question is, uh, is MSI accepted by the RNA for competition golf? Yes, it is, uh, is a simple answer. And the RNA updated their rule book to ensure that golf is fully compliant with any COVID restrictions. 
as provided in the rules of golf scorecards can now be submitted electronically. So it's fully compliant, you can use it for qualifying competitions. Um, it's there to be used from now, so please start using it. The second question we have is from Scott Clark at Boyce Hill Golf Club. And he asks, um, will MSI support WHS from November? And as I've just mentioned, yes, absolutely. Um, we always have plans to release this feature in line with WHS. However, as I mentioned, due to the current global situation and restrictions on clubhouse entry, we brought this development feature forward a tiny bit to the top of the pile so that we could have this ready for when competition golf resumed in the, in the UK again. Uh, a third question we have kindly submitted by Karen Scott at Hazelmere Golf Club. And she asks, how are scores verified through MSI? Um, as I mentioned in the presentation, currently this feature is not in the first release of the mobile score input system. Uh, we're currently working on allowing players to verify who has marked their score and the player will be able to declare this through the How Did I Do app and the web browser. However, this feature uh, will be released in the next month or so in another update for the mobile score feature. Okay. Next question we have is from Andy Fairbairn from Halifax Golf Club. And he asks, will MSI be free of charge after the end of the year? And if not, what are the commercial terms that will apply? Well, the good news is, Andy, um, MSI will be a free feature for all of our customers, depend regardless of uh, your package level through Club V1. And this will continue to be the case moving into World Handicapping and beyond. So it's just, just a feature that's all included in your package. Like I said, please start using it. It's there to be used. Um, excellent. So we've got one more question, um, and that's from Tony Dennis at Waldingham uh, Golf Club. And he asks, and this question was asked a lot in our uh, registration process, can uh, MSI be used for supplementary scores? Currently, uh, Tony, this feature is not available in the first release of MSI, as players can only enter qualifying and non-qualifying competitions. However, we will be developing this. It is in the pipeline, um, and you will have the ability to enter and sign in for supplementary scores, as well as casual golf to fall in line with the full release of uh, WHS in November. So this is the first release of MSI, like I said. Um, Probably towards the back end of June, early July, we'll get another update, which will include the verification process and supplementary scores. So it is constantly being worked on. Um, so far, so good with uh, MSI. Um, but like I said, just, just bear with us and we'll, and we'll get the rest of the features in there for you. Excellent. So that concludes our short webinar today on mobile score input. I hope everyone found it uh, useful and, um, and clear. Um, if you do have any questions, then you can uh, drop us an email on the sales at clubsystems.com email. Um, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting uh, our videos on there later, along with the other content that we've been working on um, during lockdown. So uh, please hit subscribe there and just keep an eye out on the, uh, on the content there. Thank you very much. and. Uh, Thanks for watching.